gamers. Time. We're here. I haven't played this game in so long. This is no more Victoria 2. The ideological struggle will reap millions of men worldwide. Um, look at this Italian dude. Okay. I want to know if anything is particularly different between the two stages. Everyone's fucking Democrats because they're cowards. But here we are. It's Beta Israel. We're not playing this Iron Man. I can't bring myself to play this Iron Man. I have no memories of how to play this game. Here we are, it's Beta Israel. We have a decent number of troops. We do not have a faction. We got some boats. Okay. I'm guessing, assuming nothing has changed, we'll need to do a national focus to make a faction. I kind of want to kick the Andalusians out, but wait, who do we have good relations with? We hate Mozambique. Oh, because they're part of Andalusia. So theoretically, we could go for Mozambique as a way to getting to Andalusia. So yeah, um, <laughs> for some reason, it's released. It's released. Um. Egypt. So now the Holy Land and Cairo and all that are being managed from up, up, up in the north. But yeah. We can't make a faction yet, but we will. I think we do need to just kind of beeline making a faction. So I'm going to put that on. I don't remember how to play this game. I'm gonna... I, and even... They've cut these down. They used to be like... Do they not used to be multiple different bits? Or am I thinking of a mod? I think we're gonna be wanting to get synthetic oil going as quickly as possible. Um... Okay, it's 1935, so we're a couple of years ahead of them. Should we get heavies? That'd be a nice start. Wait, actually. Artillery? We could get anti-tank. Just because I don't know if we're going to be able to maintain a particularly tank-heavy army. We'll set up these seven guys on a on this border. And then these guys and these guys can be on the French border. And that's all our guys. Oh wait, they can only have 24, can't they? I forgot that we're in hort we're in hordes of iron now. We're probably gonna wanna get rid of our cavalry at some point, but for now that'll be fine. Okay, how many civilian factories have we got? 37, that's not bad. What a couple of civ factories. And then we'll start on some mill factories and 
We do want some fuel silos. Can we get refineries? Is that a thing? Yeah, so that should be on for a while. Commander civilian trains? 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 There's trains in this game now? Okay. Our armored divisions are fine. We are 100% not going to be able to afford to make any of them. No, VPN, we're not updating right now. I guess we should be building some tanks. Is that everything we need? They've moved everything around. I have no idea where anything is anymore. I suppose so. Uh, what do I... Okay, let's get rid of some of these templates. We don't need them. Our infantry divisions are decent, actually. Is 20 attack- is 20 combat width still the ideal? Because if so, I may- Oh wait, it costs to remove. But yeah, so this is the world- oh, let's switch off the day-night cycle. It's a nightmare to look at. This is the world. I think our aim is to decolonize Africa. There's no factions except for the Germans, who've got the Central European Alliance. That's the only faction. Um, things have got a little funky vis-a-vis uh, -vis leaders. Um, not so much in Africa. Yeah, the French are led by Q von E. The British are led by this guy, Oswine Kerdek. But yeah, we're just gonna sort of Beeline, I'm turning it down, I don't know why is this game so loud? This is probably destroying our fuel storage by moving stuff. What is absolutism? We don't want absolutism, do we? What is minarchism? What are these weird ideologies? And what are these sounds I'm hearing? Oh, I forget what anything means in this game. Oh, we should probably be training some divisions at least. Um, can I train some like? I think they'll probably just need the artillery, right? Yeah. Just train some artillery. What's your issue? Oh, supply. I think if we split these guys in half between the French, who are the French allied with? I guess they're not allied with anyone, but they're guaranteed by a bunch of people. Cameroon, Mali. None of our enemies. Because we get on with everyone in green. Um, We could send a couple of these guys down to... down to the Andalusian border. So yeah, the only puppets we've got left are Mauritius, uh, Showa, is, Showa Egypt, um, which is the Holy Land, and then Showa Siberia, which is all of the random bits in uh, up here. Makassar has capitulated to Sambas. Why do I have a fleet in Japan? Oh, I sent them to look, didn't I? I sent them to look. Do you want to go back home? Oh. Is this going to use all of our fuel up? Oh no. But yeah, Shoah Siberia exists. 
we've all got a big base game focus trees, which is a bit boring, but hey ho, there's only so much you can do. We really need oil as one of our priorities, because... Uh, resource front road. Where can we get more oil from? Have we got any easily accessible oil? Because this is the only oil we've got. We get more rubber really easily, but oil... We may have to invade Persia. I don't know if we particularly want to invade Persia. Okay, I think our first sort of test of our capabilities should be conquering Libertalia. Whose flag is fucked? I've never played this game with headphones on, so I've never heard any of these weird sound effects before. Um, okay. I think a kind of priority should be getting into mobilization. We could immediately go into war economy, which would be really good. Wait, these aren't. Al Sark has a claim here. Wales doesn't have like an independence claim. And France has a claim to the West Country. And Ireland just doesn't have claims. <laughs> That's fucked, man. Does Iceland at least have independence claims? No. Greenland just vibing. Oh, I forgot the Greenland the Greenland is French Canadian. Oh no. Fuck, just a bunch of these aren't getting the supply they need. Um, I guess we could just build like a fallback line here and like put half of them over there and see if that helps with the supply. Yeah, we really need fuel battling. I might have to buy some oil. California? Okay, I think ideally we don't want to if we don't have to, but we can if we need to. Any wars happening? Oh, this forever war. Oh, what's clever? Um, yeah, we're gonna speed run or just get I'd look from fanaticism as quickly as possible, just so we can modify officers' core. Oh boy. Um, army logistics might actually be really nice right now. We could also get a theorist, but I don't know if we want to get a theorist at the moment. What does that mean? Low supplies again? Do I need to fucking increase infrastructure here? Yeah, we should question their sovereignty. And then the next thing we'll do after this is... Is, um... Go into war economy mode. But we could get extra rubber if we need. Should we also be, like, trying to... Do a communist coup in... Mozambique? They have, like, no communism. Maybe South Africa. Oh, fuck. South Africa are fascists? I think South Africa may be our second target, then. And not... Not our brave friends in... 
The French are at least Democrats. Even the even if we have issues with them, they're Democrats. The South Africans currently have uh, no allies. And well, it's nice it gives you a like pronunciation guide to cultures. To do that for all of them or just for the non European ones? No, it doesn't do it for Anglo Saxon. The French are just no one even knows what's up with the French culture. It only does it for ones that it thinks you might be confused by. Which doesn't include Bedouin. Oh, I can't. Yes, it's this guy. Augusta Grok. Morlach. A hundred percent communism in both our countries, as it should be. Same with Sudan. Once we've got. Oop. So we could go on to limited conscription. Don't know if we want that yet. I want to go war economy. I really just want my extra civilian factories. Oh, look at it go now. Look at this guy. Um, wait, did we finish our war declaration on? No, it's going to take another, like a most of a year because all well, tension is quite low. I already hope something kicks off. Oop. Extra troops are done. I'm going to take these guys, but then we're going to delete their orders and put them on the... What does Flex or Cohesion do? To South Africa. You have between one and five troops, so we can easily take them. Andalusia has signed the Naval Disarmament Treaty. We're just going to become like a bulwark of communism. Honestly, boats and shit in this game terrify me. Japan have. Japan, how dare you? Okay, we have no planes out anywhere. But I think, well, assuming that nothing has changed. Wait, we have Fighter 1? Why would we use interwar fighters when we have Fighter 1? So we want them to specifically normal operations day and uh, day and night. I think is what we want them set to. Uh, we're not going to have them going. We don't want to waste fuel, so I don't want to have them going until we need them. But we are done with them. So let's get. Hmm. Field hospitals would be pretty nice. We'll need that. Field hospitals will be hugely important given we've got like a decent amount of manpower. We've probably got some of the most manpower in the world. But it's still not necessarily going to be much. So yeah, our focus here is um, going to be liberating the South Africans from from, um, I think we'll take, like, the bits that we don't have. Like, we'll take maybe, like, Northern Cape and South, Af South Africa, and then leave them with Cape Colony. Oh, we're about to learn political correctness. Exciting. 
Uh, fighter ones. Classical ball one is probably quite nice as well. We don't have the rubber for it, so I'm gonna take the rubber plantation ones, which slows us down for about half a year, but it's gonna be worth it in the long run. And does South Africa have any resources? They've got some iron. They've got lots of iron and some chromium. Chromium is never something we can complain about. Oh, we're getting so many military factories now. Reinforce rate is also very nice. We're not actually making troops at the moment, but I don't know if we want to be. Okay. Let's put in a couple of them. Do I have to build infrastructure? I keep clicking on the C to unselect stuff because that's how I do it in older games, but the C is a region in this game. This guy? Super charismatic. Right. I can't even. I reckon we should be able to do this by ourselves. If I just tell them to do this, we should be able to. We should. Unless something goes drastically wrong. Be able to win this one real easy. With five troops. Because they have. One to two. Yeah, we're good. We don't even need to call our allies. And let's see how long this takes. Yeah, I think we might be good. Um, wait, would declaring or justifying on these guys? That would be 115 days, that would be 110. Because we have a core on them. Oh, nice. We've taken. They've capitulated. Oh, wait. Liberate is an option. They've chained these. We could puppet them. We could puppet them. Do we want to pop it Libertalia or Madagascar? I think Libertalia is better. Okay. Now we have Libertalia. And now we can take these guys to the mainland because we don't need them at sea anymore. Cool, so they've made like... Actually, do we need to be building heavy tanks yet? I don't think we do. Um, yeah, we... I'm just gonna build a bunch of infrastructure. I don't 100% get how they've changed infrastructure in this game yet, but okay, as far as I remember, concentrated was always better. That could be wrong. We're not questioning their sovereignty, we're just sort of fixing it. Oh wait. Okay, so we're three techs away from being able to do factions. I doubt anyone else will be rushing this. Uh, it's the guy who... Cool. That should help. Remember, I have like zero 
Also, this game has no end point, so we'll just keep going until we sort of decide we've had enough. I, I also am terrified of... Ooh, wait, we can get just for free? Do we want Mass Assault, or do we want Grand Battle Farm? I think Mass Assault could be funny. For the bit. Oh, they've completely changed how land option works then. We should probably get uh, um, advisors for all of them as soon as possible then. Okay. So again, I don't know if we actually need to do anything for this or... So what's the issue? We need aluminium and rubber. Who's someone we're not going to be at war with, probably? Our old friends, Israeli Brazil. So long as no one... As long as no one can stop my ships from crossing the ocean, we'll be good. Oh, they've signed a white piece? Thank. We're free of that. Of that weird. Well, wait, Makassar doesn't exist anymore, do they? Who knows? One more. Or two more. Okay, so let's get decisive battle and close air support. Oh, and we need to generate more of that before it let us. Let's also get military. We're going to be mostly doing our land auction, I think. And we're also sort of picking off weaker people now. Um, this is fine for now, but it won't last. This should be quick. We should we should encircle them anyway. Yeah, why aren't you trying to encircle them, dipshit? If I've played, if I know one thing about the game Hearts of Iron, it's the trains. Why are trains in this game now? If I know one thing about the game uh, Hearts of Iron 4, it's the people love a cheeky encirclement. We are almost out of fuel, which is ideal. Um, fuel refining too. Nice. So I think we want to take these, but then we want to puppet South Africa in Cape Colony, which is technically the most valuable state by far, but. Nice. Now we can put these guys on the border with Andalusia, who is going to be a pain to fight, because we're also to fight Italy, New Fanders, and Algeria, which I don't particularly want to do. Okay, and now we're getting fuel again. We're getting fuel quite quickly. It is slow though. One more and then we can make a faction. The war austerity train? Shit train? Let's go up to limited. I mean, we don't have to, we could have jumped straight ahead actually. Um, 
So what if we... So the Angolans are communists with 0% communist support. Incredible. Uh, Fidel, you're fascist. But we could try and stage a communist coup. That could be nice, to have another ally against the Germans, potentially. So Sal looks like I don't trust us, but hopefully... They should trust us. So yeah, once this one's done, we get... I've never been good at this game, despite having 500 and something hours in it, I'm awful at it. I'm going to get all the support companies, which means, okay, let's quickly just sort of yonk these up to the top, because we're going to have to produce some support equipment if we don't already. Yeah. Okay, cool. Perfect. Sort of getting the Mughals out of Sudan would also be nice, but I think they may be tough to take on. Although Mughal Sudan is... And there we go, we should be able to make a faction now. And that means we can also... Um... Let's do some industrial effort for a bit. Thing we need to be doing right now. I don't think so. Just let it go. Oh yeah, we were gonna... I don't know if, like, smaller combat wave is still good. Probably want to add support artillery. Which is fine, we can afford that. We will want to add field hospitals as well, and engineer companies, which will need some stuff that we don't have currently. But that's fine, we can change that as well. I also want to find any like light infantries we have. I want to slowly start converting all of our light infantries and cavalry. So we can probably use cavalry for like... We can probably use cavalries for like, um, what's the word? Oh yeah, we can create a faction now. Let's... Should we just call it the common term? Am I going to be lazy? Am I going to be lazy? Also, look at this man. Look at this powerful man that the South Africans have got. They could be giggles as an African liberation bot. No, okay. So now. We have a faction. We just need to get people to join it now. They wouldn't join... Could we improve relations with them? I don't know if we'd be able to join them. I don't know if that's actually improving relations with them at all, but... 
we now have a faction at the very least. Which means we can invite people if needs be. The thing I'm slightly worried about is that just no one is going to be doing anything. I know that that people do have, um, like every single focus tree does have a couple of ones which are like, we are invading Japan, which who knows why that's the Germans thing. Or the French have, the French have China, Japan, and me. So the, the, the French are coming for us. The Andalusians, Persia, yeah, so everyone has a couple of these. Like Britons are Japan and China. I don't know why all of them have like Japan and China as the best two. That's weird. Do all of them have it or is it just great powers? Oh no, like everyone has them pretty much, so it's when people start getting to them that will. Okay, so we need to. When we can, we need to put those extra ones into truck. sleepy. This was more just a test thing. We might play something else because um, it might take a while. You can request expeditionary forces. That's new. Who is it we are? Oh yeah, Fadan. It'd be so funny for us to try and civil war Germany. They're very high stability and all that, but it'd be funny as a bit to boost communism in Germany and see what we can do. Like making Germany collapse into civil war could be nice. It's also genuinely annoying that like because Germany's held some of these things for so long, they no longer they no longer, like, have any claims to them. Like, the Romanis have a claim, have claims to random bits of the of Germany. And the Finns have a claim to Ingria. The Finns have claims to, uh, to weird bits. No, that's not what it's going to do. Need 90 army experience for that. I guess we could um, drill for a bit if that's an option. Okay, not with all of them. Not with all of them, because it will just destroy our fuel reserves. Oh shit, I forgot to put another research on. Alright, let's catch up on some naval stuff we're behind on that. This boy. They're already on service by requirement and they only have 4.3k manpower. Addiction seems like a fun one to have. We're not going to have a focus on carriers. Submarines or nothing. Um, one more of the mill factories ones. Could 
because we do want more truck and more support equipment because then we can start actually building stuff okay so we want to take all of our light infantries and convert them into infantry divisions or infantry brigades What's the difference? Oh no. Infantry division is normal. Infantry brigade is shit. So we want to get rid of anything that's got brigade and anything that's got light in the name. Okay. Maintenance companies are done. Oh wait, no, we do not want to do that at all. Oh, I have no idea how to do modern, like current naval stuff in this. Uh, we're still ahead of time. Oh no, we get paratroopers. Mercenaries are probably worth it. Tension is just so low at the moment. Like, the French Congo has. How many troops? Well, France has. potentially far more than we do, but the French Congo has none. I don't know why we didn't just go straight up to... Oh, it's because it requires extra power. That's why we didn't. Okay, so now we're going to... Can I build a supply hub, like, here? I don't know what on earth is going on with railways in this game. I'll probably need to do some research between now and next time to actually actually have a clue what's going on, but that's fine. We will need radar at some point. I should probably research radar actually, if I haven't already. Thirteen percent communism. How are the Germans looking? German Egypt and so Germany owning this, but German Egypt owning this. German Egypt owning just the desert is very powerful. Do do do. They have so much manpower. Why are they not? Why are they not building troops? Who knows. Cool Libertalia's flag, communist flag is. We saved them from having a shit flag. Go 
Okay, so we do need more support equipment. Ooh, and we can get pocket defense. Okay. I think. Hearts of Iron is definitely the game I care, despite having played the most of it, I care the least out of all of the Paradox games. So, I think I'm going to have to come up with some specific goal or something. Uh, what are we going to... Because it's the Steam sale, I bought some stuff. I think we're going to try something. This is the game I, I know because streamer Tom Walker played it. Who knows what it's going to be like. Uh, that's loud. This is Lost Egg 2. I just need to change the... This is a Lost Egg 2, it's a little platformer. Um, I'm sure it'll be easy. Wait, you can get mad at every time. Every time I time type my name, it just um, switches it to doing that. I guess we owl then. Okay. Let's see how this goes. It might go really badly. I'm probably not going to stream for too long tonight because I'm super tired. And I'm ready for my bed. I might just go for like half an hour more. Oh, this mouse, this mouse sensitivity is very high. Okay, I see what's going on. Okay. Oop. 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 <laughs> this, this is going to be fun for anyone to watch, given that... Oh, I never streamed Bouncy Cat, did I? Fuck. We didn't get the toast. I want to get the toast. Let's go find the toast. Oh, we snuggled in bed. Is that the toast out there? Okay, it's not out there, presumably. It'll be somewhere in the kitchen, I guess. This is such pretty music. I don't think I ever streamed Bouncy Cat, but that was um, the game that I played that first got me into playing Precision Platformers. Where would the toast be? The chicken. Family is a little world made of love. It's not there. It's not there. I think I'm just very susceptible to like sad music on a piano. Ooh. An area we haven't been to. Sink. No. Okay, we haven't had to do any real platforming yet. Um, I did get real mad with Bouncy Cat, but I like like precision platformer games now. Okay, so shift just stops me in yeah. 
Oh. This is the easiest level in this game, and I'm already struggling. Fuck. I bet we could, like, use these... No. At least the music's relaxing. It could be... And we did it all. Nice. This won't be so hard. She says, knowing what the bonus level in this game is like. Okay, so those things all increase our extra life. Where is it that we can, like, get up? Is it here? How do we get up? Oh, the chair, I see. What if we get really into Lost Egg speedrunning? The thing is, is, there's people who speedrun this game who actually know what they're doing. Unlike Tour de France, where it was just me, all the camera is not cooperating. Oh. I'm not very good at this. Oh, it would help if the camera wasn't being. <laughs> no! Okay, we're gonna. Oh, this is gonna suck. Watching Tom Walker did play this, like, in. which you can find on YouTube, like. the. um montage of his attempts at the final level. It looks easy. I'm now beginning to see this game is not in fact easy. I don't think we're gonna get any of the stars for this one. <laughs> is that sad? I don't think I'm using my break very effectively. No. Like genuinely at least the music is nice because um, it would be, I would be so angry probably if this music wasn't like this. So I bought a couple of games in the Steam um, like Black Friday sale. So I also have um, Journey which we'll probably just do in one sitting. Um, I've got Spiritfarer, which is another game I've been made to play for ages. No. No, 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 no. Fuck. We died? See, it starts us here, and I just completely missed where we meant to be going. I bet, I bet if we go to the end of here, there's a toast. Wait, my little corpse like just lies there now? Okay, so we shouldn't grab the health pickup until until like we're nearly dead because it heals us. Fuck, I just got that that last time and now we're back to me completely screwing the pooch. No. How many times will I die on stage two of this game? What have I done? Oh no. The idea of like a platformer where like you have limited movement because you're an egg and you will break after a while. 
is really cool. I'm just, I'm still not used to platformers. Oh, I also bought Getting Over It uh, with Bennett Body. Uh, another one we'll play. Because not only, fuck, am I getting into precision platformers, I'm also um, just very into Australians. <laughs> and I find their voices very soothing. Bennett Body is Australian, right? I'm not making this up. I'm not imagining him as an Australian. He is Australian. Oh. No! That was the furthest we'd ever been. And there's a heel up there. We might be able to do this without dying. Oh, I hate getting stuck in here. There we go. Fuck. I really hope no one, no one who knows what, what they're doing in this game finds the stream. Just because, as, as much as I'd love to have them here, I would be embarrassed. Because <laughs> people are really good at games like this. And then you have little old me. Little old Aoife. Fuck. Fuck. Damn it. Shit. Okay, we got the heal, but I don't know if that helped hugely. And every jump that I do like that. I don't know if we'll have the health to make it to the goal now. Especially you know, if I screw the pooch like that. Because we have to go all the way up over the blackboard. Yeah, we're gonna run out of life very shortly. Fuck. Well, we've made it further than we did last time. I think that's what life is really about. It's about sort of improving. This is just gonna be a death. <sighs> mouse on the screen now. There we go. Okay, so it's only our most recent corpse that's on the... F no, all of our corpses are on the floor. Oh. No! We were doing so well there. Okay, I need to get a handle on how the brake works, because I'm still not... Oh, I'm still not like 100% in control of the brake. Oh fuck, this music is so good. I think there's just like a certain Japanese like scale that they use. Or like set collection of notes. I don't. I guess a collection of notes is a scale. And uh, and you hear it in anime music all the time. Like um, I think like the Your Name soundtrack has it a bunch. It just completely gets me, especially when they put it on like a piano. Hmm. Damn it. Okay, we need to be moving to make that jump. We're getting it. We're definitely getting it better than we have before. Fuck. Sometimes my spacebar just doesn't respond. Which is really cool. I love having a, a top quality keyboard. My Thanks, Dell. Fuck. Okay.
we may be about to die again. I've, I've got a bit jump happy. Are we not even going to get the life boost from the top? Yeah. No, this is... Oh fuck, we just killed the egg. Fuck. No, now our nest just starts with... Our nest is now built on corpses. I'm gonna leave the health for a bit longer. I feel like I picked it up too early. Okay, so we got on the chair. Fuck! That same thing happened last time. Okay, we're gonna get this. I imagine I'll make some red noises in this. And we're just gonna have to step back. We're just gonna have to set we all have balls. Mine are one, being bad at platformers, and two, sometimes I make noises when I'm concentrating. Okay, fuck, fuck the mega campaign. Fuck anything else. I'm now a Lost Egg 2 streamer. I'm enjoying this far too much. I'm not stopping. Okay, I'm not stopping the stream until we beat this level. Fuck. I'm gonna go the heal now. I'm not stopping the stream until we beat this fucking level. No, I can feel myself getting into the game. To be fair, this game is like a pound in the sale. No. I think I've already got a pound's worth of enjoyment out of this. Or 188, or how much I spent on this game. We have to watch like Lost Egg tutorials. Okay, so the camera's one of the things that I'm struggling with. I think we shouldn't kill our eggs. We should, unless like we barely have enough life to get anywhere, we should at least try to use them to explore and get further than we did before. That was, that was, that wasn't, that was pretty good. That felt good. And now I'll go back to, I think, why is it, why is my biggest issue getting onto the chair? Fuck, I'm, I'm making most of my mistakes in this really early segment. Like once I go up here, I'm mostly, Except for that. Like, that was, that was, oh, we were doing so well there for a second. Just egging along. I'm genuinely not ending this stream until we beat this level, at least. We don't have to beat it at five stars. We just have to beat it. Okay. We died in the chair, that's fine. Right. Oh, I have to then um, just hide the mouse again. I don't know if you can see the mouse, but it annoys me. Fuck. Oh. We can do this. 
we're very close to me putting on some kind of music to help us. I don't know what we put on, but something. Some kind of like inspirational music. Fuck. I think I'm getting stressed. We have to put the Lo-Fi Boris wave to uh, get Brexit done to, or whatever. Um, no. <gasps> okay, we can do this. I believe in us. I don't know if I was even actually going the right way before. Fuck. That was dumb of me. If this has, I mean, I'm assuming that the foot, like, every level has, like, a five beat in five minutes goal. Like, the first one did. Oh. Fuck. Damn it. Shit. Oh, beans. There's just, like, several levels of swearing, depending on how, what you're feeling, take your pick. <gasps> oh. I apologize just truly for these upsetting noises. If anyone wants to bully me, if anyone wants to bully me, just feel free to want, just go through the board and um, clip all of these horrid noises. I would prefer if you didn't, but you always could. We haven't even made it on top of the locker in this run. That's what I'm calling that thing. Yeah, it's a fighting cabinet locker. Oh shit. We've only got enough health for one more attempt, I think. If that. We can do this. Okay, maybe we can't do this. Let's just go have a little explore. There might be like a cheek, a, like sneaky way we could do this. What's in here? Can we get in there? It does not look like it actually does it. Another egg down. Fucking terrible start there. Oh, the camera! The camera! The camera was not happy there. I'm really liking this game, I'm just bad at it. <laughs> I might have to practice between streams. We, we may unironically become a Lost Egg channel now. Fuck. so close. That was, that was a, our best run yet. I'm so proud. Okay, it's too early to take the health pick up. Now we get to fuck around trying to get back up here for 10 minutes. I'm gonna look at the clock and I'll be like, it is 4am. 4, 4 You've been doing this for 5 hours. You've been on level 2 of Lost Egg. For five hours of Lost Egg 2, sorry. We've never played Lost Egg 1. If it's good, we might. If, if I really enjoy this, we may play Lost Egg 1 at some point.
I'm definitely getting better. Ooh. And now I do something like that. <sighs> Enjoying this far more than Hearts of Iron. Oh, fun. Oh. oh. Fucking hell. Okay. Literally. See, now that I've been cursed and I've said I'm not ending the stream until we finish the double, it's going to take us like five times as long as it would have ever twice. You can hear me. You can hear my horrible loud keyboard when I press space. Just sometimes I press space and like the egg doesn't jump. I'm sure there are valid reasons for that, but it's annoying. Like, I'm probably already pressing it when we're in the air or something like that. Okay, I think we probably have just about enough health to make it. That just about is that just about enough health is rapidly dwindling. Fuck. <sighs> Twenty four hour lost egg stream. Should I do that on my day off? My one day off work, like in two weeks. And I, and I use it to play Lost Egg 2 for 24 hours. That sounds about right for me. Sort of my love of mental well-being. Oh, beans. Okay, this may just be a crack ourselves. I was like, this will be easy. Maybe I was wrong. Fuck. Yeah, I get so sensitive sometimes. Hmm. I shouldn't have jumped there. At least we're, by doing this level so much, we're increasing our max health a lot, which should help out with later levels, when it gets really difficult and long. This game only has like seven levels, I think, as well. I wonder how long it'll take us to beat them all. Just didn't jump there. Just didn't jump. I reckon one more, then we take one more good attempt, and then we take the other heal. Or if we get that on like 300 health. is just so sensitive. It's heal time. I wonder if this would be easier with a controller. I'm gonna say the answer to that is no. Buying myself a gamer keyboard just for Lost Egg 2. leap right across there if I knew what I was doing. I got excited then. We can do this. Fuck, it's been 15 minutes since I last looked at the chat to check if anything can happen. It hasn't, which is fine. 
We know where the two pieces of toast are for this level as well. I wonder if we could. This is an experiment. Okay, I don't think we can make it across that in one jump. I'm not going back to fucking up on this chair a bunch. I can't. I can't do it. We are making progress, and I think that's what's important. That's what's important in the world of Lost Egg. But yeah, this is. A return to the indie zone that we've so desperately needed. Oh my god. I'm at least beating this level today. I say today, we've now ticked over into tomorrow. Or is tomorrow today and today yesterday? Every day is egg day. We're gonna die on the tables again. Oh no, we've now played for long enough that some of that earlier eggs are starting to disappear. This is only the second stage. How bad is it gonna get by like stage five? Or the bonus stage. the level of progress we need to be making minimum every time instead of getting caught on this chat and spending a good 30 seconds doing the chat During this, our attempts of this, we've upgraded our health by about a hundred and a bit at this point. Just from this level. We're gonna have so much health when we get to the later level. <laughs> That's probably a good thing. Oh, fuck it. I pressed the, I pressed the brake a bit too early. Ah, what am I doing? Fuck. Egg drift. I bet this is really fun hearing my incredibly noisy keyboard during all of this. Egg! No! Oh, fuck. I wonder how many viewers Lost Egg 2 gets on Twitch. I'll have to check once we've done this level. If we ever do this level, this could be it now. We could be stuck in Lost Egg Purgatory. but the pub I work in is showing it, so I'm kind of forced to engage with the World Cup when I really don't want to. So I'm aware of things that happen in the World Cup, specifically when I launch it. So like, I'm aware of the, um, the fact that Wales was beaten by Iran, which um, 
cool. Don't know if that's... I don't know sort of in the football power rankings where those two teams are. Oh, that was so close to being our furthest we ever got. Let's just kill ourselves. Yeah. I think that's... That, that, I think I'm equipped to, as a person, to talk about football. That's something I've definitely done. I know that England and America drew because people... I, I know too many, both British people and Americans, for people not to talk about the World Cup when England plays. Oh fuck, how are we meant to do that jump? When England plays America, because both countries are incredibly normal about playing each other. Maybe as a bit, I should put some money on, like, Iran winning the World Cup. It won't happen. But, what are the odds? We'll check the odds. Will I get in trouble if I open a gambling site on Twitch? I'm not going to put any money on it. just want to check. Obviously, I don't support the World Cup and all that. And I'm actively not engaging with it. I'm not going to spend money on the World Cup. Or, like, betting. So like, I'm a student at Edinburgh Uni, that doesn't really dox me, there's a lot of us, I live in Edinburgh, well, um, and our student union has like, made the contrast among students, but like, it makes sense from a business perspective, decision to uh, air the World Cup, and so a lot of students are boycotting the students' union um, for the duration of the World Cup, which is, fuck. I completely screwed the preach on that one. Which is very fun, both in terms of like, you think if like a majority of students are like, maybe we shouldn't show this one, then people wouldn't. Um, like I think 50 like societies from the uni, for anyone who's not from like a British uni a society, it's just like a student club, um, like wrote to the uni and were like, please bestie, can we not? But the, but the, not the uni, to the student union. And you'd think the student union's like whole purpose would be like to represent the student body, but no. Particularly like Edinburgh uni students, like because of the fringe, uh, like USA, the um, Edinburgh University Student Association, is ridiculously wealthy. And um, sort of no matter how sort of democratic you want to be as president, you sort of end up being made to take these incredibly sort of business-minded anti-student decisions, which is an incredibly cursed thing for a student union to be doing. It's, it's, it's like really funny to me that like student unions were explicitly founded as like these bodies to represent students in an our interests, but because they're so institutionalised, they just represent sort of the student union's interests. How do we make that jump? Am I am I doing the wrong thing? Am I gonna have to watch a guide? Am I gonna have to watch someone else play Lost Egg Two? I need like at least 200 health to make it I think so yeah this run won't be it but tag egg oh see the thing is I'm getting really tired I've been up since early in the morning because I had work this morning get a lion tomorrow. And what am I using my evening to do? Play level 2 of Lost Egg 2. And completely nailing it. <laughs> completely nailing it, she says.
I looked over at my screen and I was like, because my brain is broken. Oh, I misread two viewers as two, as 427 viewers. And I was like, what the fuck? I really hope that never happens. Um, I don't think I, I could entertain that many people. I don't think I can handle that. I'm quite happy just traveling along with like no people or very few people and occasionally someone coming and saying hi in chat. I think I prefer that. I wouldn't like I, like I mean part of me is like yeah I'd love I'd love to be a big streamer but um the the other more sensible part of me is like no you would fucking hate it. You would hate everything I think about. Like I know what I'm like. I would say something probably as a joke. Um people would not understand. I'm not like an edgy person particularly. But like I would get I would get cancelled very quickly, I'm sure. For something. Oh god. The idea of, um, I've got like, the idea of, um, like, I made a joke in a Discord server and some people weren't very happy with me, which is fair enough, like, you're entitled to not like the joke people say, and if, like, it makes you uncomfortable, that's fine. Um, it doesn't affect me particularly. Um, but it's given me the idea of someone who, like, does the, um, I've been cancelled tour, but not for, like, criticism on Twitter or anything, but for being criticised. I'm jumping too early. I've lost, I've lost this movement entirely. Yeah, not for, like, being cancelled on Twitter or anything, but for being mildly criticised in a Discord chat. And that's incredibly funny to me as a concept. Like, lined up with all these other people who've been quote-unquote cancelled, I think cancellation is kind of a overstated oh, we got on did you see that that was a new chair tech we've just learned chair percent lost egg to level two chair percent but yeah like going in like a, like the spectator or one of those newspapers like i have been cancelled by the woke left for what merely making cancelled uh, by being mildly criticised and <gasps> no fuck we were so close we could have finished it then <sighs> I don't think I've got enough health to make it but I'll give it one last go that jump if, if that jump is what cops did for me I'm gonna kill myself. Actually, I don't know if I can say that or if that's against Twitch TOS to jokingly threaten suicide. Okay, now, now I definitely don't have help. I want to end the life of this egg. That egg is meant to be pink. It doesn't look particularly pink. Should we do purple? Does purple look better? Purple is more distinct. It's more noble. The noble purple egg. Do you think there's like, like, cause like, there are people who like political ideology is like monarchist. Do you reckon there's like monarchists out there who are like, oh, only, only like aristocracy should be allowed to wear purple? that was a thing for a while. I don't know if that's a thing everywhere or if it's just like one British monarch at some point and that's something that you get sort of told by osmosis in like British history education which let's be honest it's not the most well-rounded thing in the world. Oh no I think I've screwed the pooch again. Because, like, 
like, fucking monarchist who's so committed to the bit, they're like, oh, I'm not allowed to wear purple. And they'll, like, threaten anyone who wears purple with a rest under some, like, archaic law that 100% doesn't apply anymore. Like, Magna Carta people in the UK. Magna Carta people are, like, a fun breed of people. Who are like copying the, U the US, like um, looking back to the constitution people, but obviously in Britain we don't have any kind of constitutional family document. So the only thing they've really got is the Magna Carta, but the Magna Carta doesn't actually apply to like the common people of Britain and is mostly irrelevant nowadays because it's been superseded by other laws. Like, unless you are a medieval baron, the Magna Carta holds very little sway over your civil rights in this country. It's very funny. I was in London um, in February for the sort of MUN conference I go to every year uh, there because I'm, I'm really cool and do one of your nations. And um, on, on the bus on the way to the debate one day, there was this guy on the bus um, who was like, had his sign, he was going to his little anti-Covid, like, stuff rally. But this was at a point when we had gotten rid of every single, like, restriction regarding Covid. So like, who knows what this man was protesting. I think he was mostly doing it for the company at this point, because he, he looked... Oh. But yeah. It's weird how, like, few of those sorts of people I've encountered, like, in Edinburgh. We have, we have a lot of wackos. That's probably a mean word for it. We have a lot of, um, fringe... I don't know. I'm gonna go with wackos. Like, there are conspiracy theories that I'd say you're just fine believing. The COVID stuff is not one of them. Eva desperately trying to get cancelled so she can gain any kind of relevance whatsoever. Cancelled by Lost Egg 2 simply for the act of not letting you win. Oh, fuck's sake. Oh, and we nearly saved it there. I don't think we got the help to do a run. Okay, if I'm still going at 1, if I'm still going at 1am British time, we will call it a night. If I'm still going and haven't beaten this second level by then. Space well, it just didn't work. But yeah, no, like, I've never really encountered those sorts of people in Edinburgh. And then, like, when I was in London for two days, I immediately sort of meet. I mean, yeah, like, there are fun anti vax, uh, anti abortion people in Edinburgh. That was a big drama. So I feel going over a lot of sort of Edinburgh uni student drama. But there was a lot of drama of, like, the pro life society that was founded this year. And because, um, yeah, they they were an interesting group of people, and there was like protests at their meetings, which fair enough. I think I agree with the people protesting them. And like this weird um, American like evangelical charity that like campaigns against abortion has opened one of their like alternative clinics where they're like where they're like oh no don't get an abortion too sexy haha -ha. um really near to like the main sort of sexual health clinic in Edinburgh which is worrying like I think there's this perception that a lot of uh, both um Scottish and English people have of um Scotland as like this sort of progressive bastion in the UK and it's a lie Scotland is in some ways more progressive, but like nah.
I refuse to believe that, like, by and large, on every single issue, Scotland is better. Especially given how white it is in Scotland, I feel like, um... Like, it's coming up here from, like, Bristol. It was, like, shocking how, like... There's obviously diversity in Edinburgh, especially, and in Scotland more generally, but, like, compared to... Compared to, like, Bristol, I was, like, shocked by how undiverse Edinburgh is. And I'm kind of used to it now because I've been here for five years. But... It still kind of gets me sometimes. Oh. I'm starting to get annoyed. We've only been playing this game for 20. No. I've been playing this game for half an hour, but it's decided I've only been playing this game for 25 minutes. Oh no, we've been playing this game for 50 minutes, but it is 25 past and that's what it was showing me. I understand now. I understand, like, fuck. I understand the concept of time. I might be losing it because I'm super sleepy. Oh god, like... Tom Walker's 42 hours of Lost Egg 2 bonus level attempts. I'm gonna have my version of that, but it's just this level. It's just me trying to climb this fucking chair over and over again. And failing. I don't have enough. Oh, I died right next to his friend. Fuck. Immediate failure. I need to learn the text. This game is 100% so much harder of a um, controller. Fuck. Although, like, some control over how quickly you accelerate would be nice. And you just can't get that on. The, um, on the keyboard. Ooh. And we've been going with the same music, the same quiet short track. If 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 oh my god. Maybe maybe like November and December I'm just gonna sort of get incredibly into precision platformers and I'll be really good at them by the end of the period. <laughs> I'll be really good at them. By the new year. By the new year we're gonna beat Lost Eggs 2 bonus level. Now that that is giving us like 40 days which might seem extreme. I don't think it'll be seem extreme once we reach Lost Egg 2 bonus level. It's not even 48, it's like 35 days at this point. Which ah uh -huh. Insane that 2022 is nearly over. It's been a long year. It's been one of those years where a decade happens, but every year is a year where a decade happens now. Oh. I'm not, I'm still don't have like 100% great sort of control over the brakes. sort of person who usually enjoys like banging my head against a problem until I fix it but I there's not really any alternative way around this is that we kind of just have to keep going until I beat it the only way to beat it is 
get better. And that's the thing that I kind of like about like precision platformers as a genre is it's entirely about skill. Like there's no sort of other than the health thing in this, which like is just a neat little mechanic that separates Lost Egg from other games of the genre. It's <laughs> I'm just starting to lose it slightly, aren't I? Should we go back and play level one after I fail this? Uh, just to remind us how to win a level. To remind myself what victory tastes like. Victory tastes like egg. I love the giant, what are they called? A tractor? That's not a tractor, is it? What is that? Is that a protractor? You can tell I haven't done maths for seven years now. Oh. We've got, oh, I've, we've got 29 minutes of the, until the set deadline when I've said we can stop our attempts for today. I just don't have the brake down, because the brake like, doesn't stop you. It stops you if you're not moving, but if you're moving it's not particularly helpful. Oh, and yeah, you, need to, you can't jump for no momentum. Jumping with no momentum doesn't get you anywhere. We could always finish with a truck, we could stop now and do a truck and then come back to this tomorrow or something, or Sunday, I don't know tomorrow actually, it depends on when I wake up and what I decide to do with my day before my late late shift I've got tomorrow. I mean to be fair, I might end up streaming if I get home from work at like half two three and and then um, just decide there's no point in sleeping before my shift at, in the morning Whew. okay I think this egg's life is gonna be our last. Unless we make real progress, because I think we've reached the point where I'm not me. <laughs> I'm losing it. And uh, that's the problem with, with this one. I'm just pressing space too late, I think. And it then it counts me as falling, so I obviously can't jump whilst I'm in the air. Fuck! Egg was going in slightly the wrong direction. That was progress though. We've just had two runs in a row where we've made it very close. We're like doing the opposite of a speed run right now. What if we just sort of go fast? Okay. That did not work.
No stop, only move. Okay, that doesn't help us get on. I've got some like wine and chocolate I was looking forward to enjoying this evening. <laughs> but no, lost egg two demands. Yeah, this is the last life, and then we might end with some truck. Just end with a quick truck, because I bought Iberia. So we now have access to Spain and Portugal. Okay. Yeah, this is our last attempt, because we won't have enough health after this to make it. Methinks. I love methinks as a phrase. <sighs> no, I think that's it. I think that's it. We'll go until we die, but I think we now are at a point where we just don't have enough health to beat this one. Yeah. So we'll, we'll call our attempts at level two of Lost Egg to a close. For, for tonight. Um, oh wait, we could go straight to other stages. No, don't put it in a bonus stage. That was a bit. What if I just... I've seen how long this thing is. I don't think we're gonna get very far. Getting onto this chair's arm is going to be hard now. This is, this is, we're not going to actually do this. It's just, it's just me seeing if I can even make it past um, the first hurdle. zoom in on the egg. I'm not going to zoom down slightly more than I was before and... We made it onto the arm of the chair! Big dub. Wit witness, zooming out to witness the size of this dub. Genuinely if we can make it like past the chair before we die, I'll be super impressed with myself. Just... Oh. We made it past the chat. Egg cannot be defeated. I know, I know that's literally like the first part of like an incredibly complicated level. But... We're learning. We're learning, we're getting better at this game. lost it again. <sighs> no, I, 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 I genuinely am adoring the sense of progression in this game. Maybe even more than Bouncy Cat, the only other precision platformer I've played. I wasn't great at Bouncy Cat either. And it's got a slightly, it's got a very different control scheme. I've also got Celeste. That's that's probably more traditional platformer, but 
We've got that to play as well. Let's give it. I only got one last attempt to get past the chair. We've made it onto the arm again, but that's about us. <sighs> Where do I have to go? That's a title. Oh. It's just English for Daphne. Oh, so that's Lost Egg 2. I really like Lost Egg 2. God, I like that shit, don't I? It. So yeah, if I... Why is Steam not an option to capture? Do I have to get rid of that and go on to Web Capture? No, not Surfshark. I can't capture Steam. No, no. But yeah, I've also got getting over it um, with Bennett Foddy, which will be fun. Fuck, there's an achievement for getting to the top of Bennett Foddy's mountain 50 times. I've got Journey. Which I think will be fun. Um, and then I've got Spiritfarer, which is the only like non-platformer I bought. Um, but yeah, I also did get the Euro Truck Iberia DLC, which will be fun. I think we're gonna call it here. We've been going for like two hours. I really like Lost Egg. I think we're just gonna be egging some more tomorrow. Thanks, thanks for... Wait, it can have to skip Steam. What are you doing, game? My good chat. Oh yeah, no, it can capture Steam, but it refuses to show my library for some reason. We've also still got like Deus Ex. Um, we've got Deus Ex to play, we've got, uh, fucking Pathologic 2, um, and a bunch more. We will finish the Mega Campaign at some point, but I think we need a break from it. And Lost Egg may be that perfect break, so thanks for coming gamers, and I'll see you on the next one. If you've enjoyed this, you can follow me on here you can follow me on various socials they're all linked in the channel description and i'll see you either in about eight, in about 10 hours or um on sunday one of the two or maybe on some point at like half 3 a.m on sunday thanks for coming gamers Boy.